Zareth Mortis, a decent addition to the Shadowlands expansion in World of Warcraft. But we are not here to learn about how good or bad Zareth Mortis is as a zone. We are here to explore what secrets or unique visuals the Autobahns areas have to explore. I discovered so much in this Autobahns area that for the third time on this channel, I needed to split the video into two parts. The video you are watching right now is part one. In part one, you will learn how to perform the glitch, what lies to the right of the sepulcher, what lies to the left of the sepulcher, and what lies in the far distance of Zareth Mortis. In part two, we travel to the sepulcher itself and well beyond the map of Zareth Mortis. If you do like seeing the secrets of World of Warcraft, then there are many more videos like this to come, including part two of this video as soon as it's done. I'm not sure when that'll be, it'll probably, probably be next week. You can subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all things World of Warcraft exploration, and you can join the ever-growing Game Uncrafter community. If you are not ready to subscribe to the channel yet, that's great. I appreciate you watching, and you can tell me that you enjoyed this video by hitting the like button with a nice ID. Let's jump in. A really quick side note here, I apparently had some slight popping sounds throughout the audio. I'm not sure what's caused this to happen. It's never happened to me before this video. It might be noticeable in part two as well, I'm not sure, but future videos should not have this issue. The popping isn't terrible, it's just it's noticeable to me. So, sorry about that guys. Okay guys, we actually have the ability to go to Zareth Mortis right off the bat with my demon hunter I was a little bit worried that I would have to do this on my main character and then go to Xerath Mortis with my demon hunter but thankfully they did make it to where you can just click you know you could just do the quest line and go straight to Xerath Mortis that's gonna be the start of today's video we have arrived in Xerath Mortis and then unfortunately we had to grab flying again and so went around the whole entire map and I finally got the achievement for unlocking the secrets. Now I wanted to do this before I did the glitch video on Xerath Morris because you never know what you could find with flying and so I didn't want to just show off something that you could just do without flying or do with flying but you couldn't do without flying like as in you could reach places with flying but you couldn't without flying so big oh look at this glitch I found and it's not an authentic glitch because you could just do it with flying but instead I actually went through all the steps to get flying in Xerath Mortis which was a pain in the butt so in order to do that, I decided to fly up near the Sepulcher because I heard a lot of people talk about how cool the Sepulcher is. I haven't looked at any of their videos except for one of the guys that's named... Ooh, I'll put his name on, on, on screen because I can't remember. Spin Doggy, I think it is. The YouTuber that showed me this glitch was possible is named Spin Doggy the Explorer. Be sure to check out his videos to show appreciation. But anyway, he actually is the one who recommended this glitch to me. I didn't even know it. He's a very small YouTuber. Uh, he's only made a few videos, but one of the videos he made was on Zareth Morris and how to do it. So I definitely wanted to, uh, you know, go ahead and try out. So the first thing I did was I just flew to the very corner of the map in the southern section and I just wanted to see, you know, the, they have the, all these little islands around the map. So I just wanted to see what that looked like. And yeah, the, the first time I did this was an absolute failure. I just kind of died. So that was a great time. Okay, so that's fine and all, but the next time I decided that, uh, first of all, I needed to change my appearance because I hadn't done that in a while, so this is my new appearance. It's not great, <laughs> but I wanted this to look a little bit more Shadowlands-y. I love these swords I have, though. They're freaking beast. Beast? Who's what am I in, in high school? Who says beast anymore? <laughs> I think it looks okay. I wish I had more matching colors. I don't. And get over it. And uh, yeah, I did forget to change my cape, which, um, you know what? It's it's. There, I don't have mer very good choices here, so it is what it is. Okay, let's get into the actual glitch because I bet most of you are probably like, let's just get on with it. Okay, so I flew over to the sepulcher and I just wanted to see what I could do. It's actually really easy to glitch out of bounds. You just use metamorphosis. I found out you can also use door shadows. And um, I first went over to the uh, right side of the map, right side of the sepulcher, because I that's just the direction I chose to go in first. I tried to stay as high as possible. I wasn't really able to, but you can uh, check out this whole little section over here. It's something you can only see from the mainland. So it's actually really cool that you can just travel along here and you can kind of just wander around. It's, it's actually really, really cool that you can do this. I try my best to get up and around these mountains, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Here's, here's just a little visual of the 
right hand side of the map or the northern section if you want to call it that there's some pretty cool stuff here but uh again it's not populated it's it's pretty interesting it's it's pretty cool uh i'd recommend just checking it out the first time i was over here i did try to kind of fly along these little uh mountains or whatever you want to call these it looked like the exact same ones from halo infinite it's just kind of a interesting that they both came out around the same time and yeah there's there's nothing over here except some really neat views and you can actually fly pretty far down however there is a limit to this so i'm you know i i tried to stay up as high as possible but it just didn't work out for this part of the exploration so i decided to go as far down as i could now you can actually get really far down here you can go all the way to this mist area and unfortunately <laughs> There comes a point where all adventurers must give their lives to exploration. And this is where that was at. Really interesting view though. I mean, this this out of bounds area, like if you could just explore it without worrying about dying, it would be absolutely massive. I mean, we're talking hours to explore this uh, and we'll get into more exploration on that later. Like it, you'll see how just massive this land is. It's it's insane. But anyway, I, you know, it's round two. So let's go ahead. We'll, we'll climb up the sepulcher and we'll come back over here and we'll get a better view of the land. This, this life, I just decided just to explore, see what's out here, if there's any secrets. I found out that you actually can fish. You can actually fish in this river. There, you can see the floating fishes there. And yeah, you can you can get fish. I don't know if there's any special fish here. I don't have really time to stay here for three or four hours to fish. But I thought that was really, really cool, actually. So if you guys want to sit here and fish and let me know if there's any special fish or out-of-bounds fish, uh, you know, you can, you can tell me about that. I would feature it in a video later on. As for the rest of the right side, yeah, there really wasn't much else. Now, let's talk about the left side of the map. Now, I'm just going to go right out ahead and say the left side of the map is so much more interesting than the right side of the map. If you look over here, you can already see that this is going to be very interesting. There's waterfalls, there's very dangerous terrain here, and then you'll you'll come to this opening if you follow the left-hand side of the mountains, and it, it, there's just all this stuff here. Now, in post-recording, I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to watch a raid video of the Sepulcher. I don't know, is this a, is this a boss battle? I'm going to find out, and I'll have a comment here if it is or isn't, whatever. But if you're just coming over here and you, you've never been in the Sepulcher, which I, I doubt really probably most people watching this have, I have a feeling that a lot of people watching this probably don't play WoW anymore or don't know much about the Sepulcher at all. I personally have never watched a video on the Sepulcher. I don't even know what's in there. But, look at this. There's like an arena here. I, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's very interesting. I decided to climb into it because I, I just, I don't know, I just want to look around. Again, I will have information in post recording on this, but I thought that was very interesting. It was really, really cool to see this. Like, look, look at this thing in the center here. Like, what is, what is this? Like, and also, why would they keep it in the out of bounds area? I mean, why not just get rid of it? But I guess that takes too much time. And maybe there is a point in the island you can see it, especially if you have flying. Maybe you can see it from in front of the sepulcher. I don't really know, but I thought this was really cool here. When looking into whether this area was an arena for a boss, or not. It was honestly kind of unclear. I looked up a guide on how to run through Zerath Mortis, but I only found single boss encounter guides. As a filthy casual, I was not able to really tell whether this area was included in the Sepulcher raid itself, but I think it actually is. I think there's a, a boss that uses this arena. As for the rest of this area, you've got a bunch of cool looking scenery. There's nothing incredibly immaculate or incredibly spectacular, but uh, yeah, there, there definitely is some cool stuff to look at. You got this giant floating ball here, which is pretty darn awesome is in front of a waterfall it's pretty cool uh, you could see some jagged textures here it looks very interesting uh, you could tell they didn't fully texture this area and so I decided to try to climb in the rocks we'll see if it works out and uh, as you can tell it didn't really work out we fell and we're falling and you would be actually shocked this is a very interesting little area that I've found. So if you look on the map here, we're very close to the northeastern island here. And you can see that the islands aren't actually islands you can really visit. 
they're actually just giant stone structures. So I was kind of disappointed in that. I thought maybe I'd be able to climb all over them. Unless there's a way to get infinite height, I'm not above that, but I, d I don't want to like glitch the game yet. I'm not there yet. You would have to gain so much height just to get up there. And since you can't fly in these out of bounds areas, there's no way to do that. And so I'm c I was kind of bummed about that. However, I did find this. Okay, so it says we're in the sepulcher of the first ones, but look at, look at this green texture sliding down the side here. And so I, I wanted to, you know, explore this a little bit and I found out like, look, breath? What? Like, I tried to glide and I hit, like, water or something? But there's nothing there. It's invisible water. And so you can actually swim in the invisible water. I'm sure that this is exactly what the developers intended to do. Being able to swim in invisible water like this. It's, it's so bizarre. I have not seen anything like this in World of Warcraft thus far. Uh, and yes, you do have to be very careful because if you fall too far, guess what? You can't get back up. So I decided to use Door of Shadows to clip into the wall because, you know, Door of Shadows is freaking broken as heck. And this is what I saw. There's no water under here either. I mean, there is at the very surface, but it's it's so weird. There's like a, a mist and some glowing textures and some sparkliness. And you can kind of tell that it's water, but it looks like you can see inside of the sepulcher. And that's actually really, really cool. Now we'll get more into what's actually back there in a, in a few minutes. However, I just wanted to show this little little wall clip off uh, as well as this little nook where you can like swim around and, and float around yeah I, I did realize at one point that I was just kind of stuck here so I kept wall clipping to see what would happen and at one point I, I found this like glowing ball just like floating in, in the out of bounds area I don't know if that's the same ball I found earlier but one weird thing I did see were these purple squares like going underneath the map like almost as if the floor is a pattern texture that moves so I, I don't know if it's like the skybox or if it's actually like pieces of land moving around really darn cool though i really thought that that was a really interesting thing to see and as every good demon hunter knows whenever you find yourself in this situation you you're gonna have to try to glitch out of bounds even further and unfortunately i was successful in doing that and guess what guys guess what yep we got ourselves stuck so you can get through this wall you can do that but I got so stuck that I actually had to submit a GM ticket. This won't be the last time that this happens. This is only the first time. Uh, so yeah, I, I had to wait until my character was moved and then I went ahead and went back. So that was all good and there was a lot of information there. But what else can we find in Xerath Mortis? You can tell from the length of the video, there's a lot here. So I wanted to find a way to get behind the sepulcher because I knew that there was stuff back there from my friend Spindoggy, Spindoggy, I think his name is Spindoggy's video. If it's not that his name, I will cut this out and replay. But anyway, so I knew that there was some stuff back here. He used, I think it's called the Flaming Star. I don't remember exactly what the item was called, but he used that and he was able to get behind the map. I don't have the item. I have tried to kill the guy that, that has the item many times and I've never, I've never once gotten the item to drop for me, unfortunately, the falling star, or whatever. And he was able to launch himself all the way behind the dang island. Uh, I try to make it as far as possible, like traveling along, along down here, but without flying, it's very difficult and I end up dying. Okay, so I needed to come up with a way to get very high. I actually decided that I was gonna do some demon hunter wall climbing, but <laughs> That's a bit of a thing that I, I I won't show too much off of. I didn't really discover a whole, whole lot with it. But anyway, I, I at this point, I realized that I needed to get much higher in elevation if I wanted to get behind the sepulcher because I did know there was stuff back there because of my subscriber spin doggy. Because like, if you want to try to get around these mountains on the left side, you really can't. Uh, I got pretty darn far to the point where the scenery did change a little bit, like the skybox did get a little yellow, but there wasn't really much else a after that. I died again. Now, I do want to say that this this visual right here underneath the fog looks incredible, but there's more of that to come, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Okay, so if you've seen my end time video, I did a little bit of glitching that I didn't want to show off how to do in that video. I still don't want to show out how to do that. And I went as far off the map as I possibly could in the northern direction. Like, I mean, I went as far as I physically could. Yeah, there's a lot of empty space out here. Look, look at the skyline. I'm outside of the skybox, right? Isn't that incredible? Like, I'm literally outside of the Xerath Mortis skybox. So I, I thought I'd just show that off that you can do this, but we'll have another out of 
you know, out of the skybox moment later on. So, <laughs> obviously, whenever I did this, I didn't expect to survive. And uh, as a matter of fact, I am now all the way in the Barrens. Great. This is great. Wonderful. So, I'll meet you guys back up at Xerath Mortis and back at the Sepulchre. Okay, it's time to see if we can get as high as freaking possible here. Uh, so, what I did is I just kind of... I just kind of survey the area and I'm like, what can I do to get as high as possible? And I found this little, like, golden pathway thing. It's supposed to be a design, but, you know, I'm a demon hunter. Any kind of design is fair game for exploration. 